hello for anybody showing up to this stream. I thought it would be really fun today because I just got the um, Derwent Ink Tense blocks and I wanted to go ahead and swatch them all out. So I've got two swatch cards here done up already and we're just going to go ahead and swatch them all out. Now I bought these about a month ago or so but they were on back order from Canada. Um, I bought them from Delta Art and I just received them so I am super excited to get into them. And it does come in two layers and the colors here are so vibrant. I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, there's a piece of cardboard in between. But this is what the two layers look like. And the colors are just so vibrant and I love my ink Inktense pencils. So I was really excited to be able to get these and these were on sale when I got them. So I'm just going to jump right into starting the swatches and if anybody's coming on to this live stream and if you have any questions for me whether it's art related or whatever then please feel free to ask and I will try my best to answer um yeah and I thought it might be fun to do another live stream where we actually do an artwork using these so let me know if you have any suggestions down below of something that you would like to see um, I'd like to start doing some more live streams, but um, depends, you know, what you guys like because I've been doing sort of like standalone tutorial videos, but I thought it might be fun to, to do live more. So the first color we have here is Sherbert Lemon. And this looks like a very vibrant, very vibrant color. Oh yeah. That's really nice and vibrant. And I'm using my arches paper to swatch these out. And I've done a, well, I've done one real time tutorial uh, using the Inktense pencils on my channel. And I've got a sped up one uh, using them as well. If you're curious about those. Okay, so the next color we have here is Sun Yellow. And these re-wet really nice. And they're just so vibrant. They're just so nice. Now I decided to do today's stream on a Sunday, but let me know if you'd rather have them on a Saturday. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I have most Saturdays and Sundays off, but I do work the occasional weekend, so then I would have to push it to like Monday or Tuesday. The next one is Cadmium Orange. Oh, that's really pretty too. And I'm just rinsing out my brush so that I can sort of drag that pigment out and make a lighter version of it so that you can see it when it's more uh, concentrated and then a lighter version. So I really like that one too. And then we have Sicilian yellow, Sicilian yellow, I think that's how you say that. Well, that's a different kind of color. It's almost like a, like a sand kind of color, like a beachy sand color. I kind of like that. Okay, and then the next one is golden yellow.
Oh, that's a pretty, pretty bright yellow. And I like how easily these are able to be softened out as well. Like you can get really saturated pigment with these, but they also like blend out really nicely. So the next one is Sienna Gold. Oh, that one's really nice too. I have a feeling I'm gonna like all of these colors. <laughs> And then we have cadmium orange. Which is this one. I want to make sure because these sticks are drying pretty quickly. So I couldn't even tell if I had wet that one or not already. Like these dry pretty quick. Oh, that is super vibrant. Really nice. And I will have everything listed down in the description below, including like all the supplies I'm using. And if you wanted to check out the Intense blocks yourself, I'll have a link for that down below. But I think I'm gonna have fun using these for sure. So then we've got Burnt Orange. And I guess I should be saying the numbers for these two. This is 0260. Oh wow, that is, that is pretty. It's almost like a, I don't know, it's got like a pinky undertone to it. It's really nice. Hmm. I like that color the burnt orange. Then we have tangerine, which is 0300. This one looks very bi vibrant as well. Oh yeah. And these are really easy to like soften and blend out. Like, so easy. And I love the packaging that these come in. Like it comes with these little foam inserts here that you put each one into. And none of them were broken in transit. So that was really great. So this is mid vermilion, which is 0310. Gonna add a little bit more water just to help it flow a little more. And I'm just loving how vibrant these colors are. And the nice thing about Intense compared to watercolor is once this first layer is dried, it's permanent. So when you go over top with your other layers, you don't really disturb that first layer. Now, if it's not completely blended out, then it can still be blended and moved around and it can mix. But once you've blended it out, like, you know, in this area where it's sort of like blended out, it's not gonna re-wet. So it's really nice and really fun to layer with. 
Then we've got Scarlet Pink, which is 0320, and that's this one here. Oh, that is super vibrant. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, and that just blends out so lovely. And then we've got Poppy Red, which is 400. Oh, and that is a gorgeous, like, gorgeous just lipstick red. Oh, I love that color. So then we've got Hot Red, which is 410. Oh, that's, I'm, I'm saying these are all gorgeous, but they're all <laughs> beautiful colors. And I just love like how easily they're able to soften out. So then we've got 500 Chili Red. And these rinse out of the brush really easily too. Like I'm not really having to like really work too hard to rinse them out completely, which is nice. So then we've got 510 Cherry. Oh, that is gorgeous too. Oh, hello crafting with EB. Very nice to see you here. How are you doing? I decided to do a live stream. Oh, I'm good, thank you. I just got these um, Ink Tanks blocks. I love my Ink Tanks pencils, but I just got these blocks, so I thought it would be so fun to come on and uh, swatch them all out because I love doing swatches. That's like the first thing I do when I get some new supplies. Um, you got a small set of these in an art box and they were awesome. Oh, that's cool. What art box was that? And the next one is Carmine Pink 520. Are they Derwent? Yes, these are the Derwent um, Inktense block set. So 
it's the same as the Derwent Inktense pencils. I think there's one color that's different in here though. I think it's the turquoise color um, that's not in the pencil set, but it's uh, it's got the same colors other than that. Oh, a scroller box. Okay, that makes sense because I don't get the scroller box. I get, what do I get? I get Smart Art and Palettefull. Although these colors are just so vibrant and so gorgeous. I'm just loving them. So the next one we have is Crimson 530. Now I was saying at the beginning of the screen, eh, beginning of the screen, <laughs> stream that uh, I was thinking maybe coming on next weekend, either next Saturday or Sunday, and we could actually do an artwork using these. So I thought that would be fun. So if you have any suggestions, then please leave them down in the comments below, if you're watching this back or um, in the chat here. Uh, hello, Alice. Was the feature artist in that box? Oh, that's really cool. I love um, watching her videos. She is a really good artist. This crimson color, it's sort of a little patchy, I'm noticing. It's not quite as smooth as the other ones, and it could have been just the way I got it on my brush, but I don't know. I'm noticing this one's just a little more patchy than the others. Like, it's kind of weird because everything else is blended out super smooth. Oh, she has a Twitch too. Okay, I didn't realize that. I have a few, um, I think I follow you on Twitch and I follow, oh gosh, there's a couple of others, but I honestly don't go on Twitch that much. I probably should go on more. The next one we have is Shiraz 600, this one here. So did you like the Inktense blocks that you got in your box, E.B.? Because I know you do a lot of um, art videos using the products that you get in the boxes, so I'd be interested to go back and see um, what you ended up doing with those blocks. Oh, that is like a pretty, like pretty plummy purple. I like that color a lot. Mm. Oh, you drew a panda bear. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to go watch that video after. And the next one we have is Red Violet, which is 610. It's really hard to see the numbers on here, so I'm having to like really concentrate hard. And at first I started swatching them on this side, but then I realized I'm gonna get rid of the, the number, so I started doing my swatches on the other side. But the number's great for referencing if you need to like replace them because these are sold open stock. So if you run out of your favorite color, then at least it's, it's gonna be easy to just buy that one. He was eating leaves and hanging out in a tree. That is so cute. That is so cute. Yes, that was one of my earlier videos. Okay, okay, perfect. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. There's so many, like, I, I follow quite a few of artists because obviously I'm, I'm into art and stuff and there's so many videos that I realized I haven't seen. It's hard to, to watch everybody's videos all the time and then I feel bad when somebody talks about a video and I'm like, oh no, I didn't watch that one. <laughs> And the next one we have is Fuchsia, which is 700. Oh, that is, that is just gorgeous. Look at that color. Oh yeah. I hope these colors are coming across as vibrant as they are in real life for me. because these are just some really beautiful colors. Like they're so pigmented. And 
And the next one is 710 Deep Rose. Now, I know, EB, you get a lot of um, subscription boxes, like art subscription boxes, and you use a lot of mediums. Like, I think I've seen you use clay and things like that, but what would you say is your favorite medium to use or that you've ever used? Love Casey Gold, Chloe Art, Ray Dizzle. I also watch Bailey too, but there's a lot of smaller ones I watch as well. Yeah, I think I'm subscribed to all of them. I'm not sure about Casey Gold. Casey Golden. I'll have to check that one because I don't know if I'm subscribed to that one or not. Okay, your favorite mediums right now are acrylic and watercolor. Okay, I've only tried acrylic once so far and I made a that disaster video about it. I mean, it didn't turn out that horrible. Um, the next one is 720 Thistle. But, um, you know, I had fun doing it at least, but watercolor is definitely one of my absolute favorites right now. And colored pencils and ink tents. I mean, I guess all of them. <laughs> Right now, okay, I also stream on Twitch on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, what time are you streaming? For the name Thistle of this color, it is a very pretty, very vibrant purple, and I wasn't expecting it to be this color. Like Thistle, you would think, I don't know, something more muted, but this is a very pretty purple. Um, I love that the art community on both Twitch and YouTube. Yes, okay, your 1 p.m. EST. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up how many hours from now until you <laughs> stream on Twitch. Um, love the colors that are in this box. Yes, I do too, they are just gorgeous. And the next one is 7.30 Dusky Purple. Ooh dusky purple. I wonder if this is going to be a little more muted because even in the box here like the the colors look so like bam like they look just gorgeous. Oh yeah yeah that's like a midnight purple. Oh my gosh that's dark. What time zone are am I in? I am in Atlantic time zone so it is uh, almost 10 30 right now in the morning for me. Oh gosh, I really like that. This almost reminds me a little bit of Moon Glow from Daniel Smith, except it doesn't have that um, granulationness to it where it sort of breaks into that purpley pink um, and a little bit of green in it. But just, just on its own when the mix is together, that sort of reminds me of that color and I love that. It's 924 here for me. Okay, so you're about an hour before me. In the time zone so it would be two for me yeah okay I'm gonna try to um, I'm gonna try to be there if I can remember <laughs> but thank you for letting me know the next one is 740 mauve so let's find, oh mauve I love that there's so many purples in this set oh yeah oh yeah there's like your dioxazine type purple mm. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I'm making business cards and watercolor paintings. Oh, nice. That would be interesting to see. Where did I get this set? So I'm in Canada and I bought this set from Delta Art and I bought it a little over a month ago uh, because it was on sale, but it ended up being back ordered. So I only just received it this past week but I'm still like super happy that I got my hands on it. 
The business cards that you're making, are they for you or are they for like another business? The next color is dark purple 750. Oh, that's another gorgeous, really dark, dark purple color. You're making the cards for your orders and I will, I make they will say, oh, thank you on the back. Okay, so they're like, thank you cards. Oh, that's really sweet. You're using alcohol inks to color them. It will be messy. Oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna <laughs> wanna watch that then. The next one is Deep Violet 760. The only time I've ever used an alcohol ink was just like a simple stamp, like to do a stamp. I don't really use that. I'm not um, that great with card making, but a lot of people use them and love them. And the next one is Violet 800. And I'm noticing for this to get really good pigment payoff, I really only need a couple of swipes of the pigment and it it just re-wets so nicely. You got a bunch um, in scroller box and the Jazza art box. Oh, okay, that's cool. I saw the Jazza art box, but I didn't get it. I was kind of like, so that's a little bit much for me. That's a little expensive, but I definitely was watching videos of people um, creating with it. It looked really fun. Okay, so the artwork that you make will be up on your channel on Thursday. That's great. So the videos that you make on Twitch, do you like repurpose them, like edit them into YouTube videos all the time? The next one that we have is Lagoon 810. Cause I've seen gaming channels do that before. Like I watch a few gaming channels and they'll like stream on Twitch and then they'll end it up like editing it down. And, uh, and then they make that into like YouTube videos or like little clips, things like that. But nope, separate videos. Okay, okay. Well then I guess I'll have to watch both. <laughs> The next one is Peacock Blue 820. Ooh. Oh, that is just, that is a really pretty blue. Your mom loved the artwork and wants it in a frame. Oh, that's so nice. Of course she did. You do great artwork. And you use your phone as a video camera. Okay. Well, you're streaming or for both? And the next one is Navy Blue 830. <laughs> I'm making you want this set. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. These colors are gorgeous, and I love my Inktense pencils. 
just love them and I think I'm, I'm gonna love these just as much okay both yeah I love these colors too they're just gorgeous the next one is iron blue 840 so I'm trying to debate because obviously I have to use these to do an artwork with them um, and for whatever reason, I was thinking either a really colorful zebra or maybe a really colorful sea turtle might be fun to do. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. But I just love how easy these are to blend out and to transition from like a really pigmented area into a really light wash. And the next one we have is Deep Blue 850. Oh, that's nice. It's almost like a like an ultramarine type blue. You're upgrading your video thing so you can try to save it as well for extra videos for YouTube like Bailey J. Yes. Well, that's what I was hoping to kind of maybe do like with this live stream because I know some people don't want to watch however long this is going to be an hour or so, you know, to swatch all these colors. So then I was thinking maybe I could edit it down and do like a speed swatch or something like that. Ooh, a sea turtle. Okay, I was leaning towards that idea, so I'm happy you said that. And if anybody's watching this replay, let me know down in the comments below because I'll definitely, you know, take your suggestions. Sea creatures would be awesome or flowers. Yeah, a lot of people suggest flowers, but I'm not great at painting flowers. I love drawing flowers, like with colored pencil, absolutely. Painting them, however, <laughs> it's a whole nother, whole nother thing. Next one is Iris Blue 900. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Almost reminds me like a cerulean blue, which is one of my favorite colors from the Winsor & Newton Cotman set, actually. If you um, saw my review video between the Cotman and the Winsor & Newton Professional, I still prefer the cerulean blue Cotman over the professional one. It is just a gorgeous color. Oh yes, the Amazon birds, because um, they're so colorful, eh? Yeah, that would be a good idea too. I've painted one bird so far with like a sort of abstract background, um, and that was kind of fun. So maybe a bird would be a good idea too. The next one is Bright Blue 1000. really nice too. Reminds me almost like maybe an endanthrone blue or something. I'm gonna have to go and check out some of these uh, pigments, like what the pigments they use for some of these. Oh, a peacock. Yeah, yeah, and parrots are colorful too. I know. If you see some of the stuff on my channel, you, you know I like colorful, <laughs> colorful things. So that's right up my alley too. The next one is Deep Indigo 1100. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yes, I love color that pops. And you do too. <laughs> yeah. 
The next one is C blue, 1200. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna be pulling these out quite a bit. And it's really nice because like I was saying at the beginning of the video, you I think you missed the beginning there, crafting with EB, but um, once these are blended out and they set, then they're permanent. So you don't really, you can't really lift the layer before. So you can kind of go over top really easily and layer without disturbing too much. So I like that aspect of them too. Oh, there's green. There's green. Trust me, this is just the first layer. So this is all the colors in the first layer and we've got a second layer to go. <laughs> and actually we'll get this out of the way. So this is all the top colors here and I've got a second sheet. We'll move that in and I'm gonna check to see if that's in frame. And this is the second layer of colors. So we've got some really lovely greens, some browns, and some really darks um, in here. And then the white, which is a super opaque white. Um, if you've ever tried the Inktense pencil, then um, this is way more opaque than that is. And I've got a dark line there just to show that. Okay, I'm gonna move this over a little bit to make sure it's all in frame still. Oh yeah, so there's two layers, there's 72, just the, the same as the pencils, except this turquoise one, that is new because the pencil one has that like graphite one that isn't water soluble. Um, whereas this doesn't have that one, it has the turquoise color instead. And the next one from this side is the dark aquamarine 1210. <laughs> you definitely want this. I know we're a bad influence on on others, right? Us artists, we just, you have to have all the things, right? And all the colors, all the pretty things. Okay, they gave you, was it the white that came in that box too? Yeah, I love the white. I bought this separately just because I wanted to try it out so bad and I couldn't believe how opaque it was. It was really, really crazy. So the next one is this new turquoise color, which is 1215. And turquoise is another one of my favorite colors. Oh, and that is gorgeous. It's a very like sea green, blue, like a mix of both. Okay, you got those in the boxes too, yeah. You have the <laughs> You have the syndrome to have it all. Yes, that's me too. The um, I need every color syndrome, right? You can't just have one, you have to have them all. So the next one is green aquamarine 1220. That's my problem too. But I still suggest whenever you're trying out something new or a new medium to get a small set um, and then that way, if you end up not liking it, then at least, you know, you didn't spend that much on it. You didn't invest like hundreds of dollars on a set that you're not going to use, especially with colored pencils, because I see a lot of people um, getting budget sets of colored pencils. Whereas if you would just, you know, get a 12 set of polychromos, Prismacolor, Luminance, Lightfast, whatever, you know, um, and you try that, you're going to be pretty supplied surprised and you're probably going to have an easier time to blend your colors because you have a smaller set right so you have to blend your colors more you're going to le learn more and it's not going to be as expensive and then you'll end up knowing if you really like that medium or not 
The next one is a Mallard Green 1230. And crafting stuff too, yeah. Luckily, I'm not as big into the crafting stuff or I think I'd have to buy a separate house for all the things. Oh, and you, you agree with me on that? Yeah, you do your research on a product too before investing in them. Absolutely. I do that too. I'll watch review videos. Um, you know, I'll see how they're used, especially because everybody's style is different and how they use products can be different throughout the art industry, right? So one person might absolutely love something and another person might. Like, I love the ink tents and watercolor. However, somebody might not like the fact that the ink tents, you can't relift it once it's dry, right? It's, it's ink, it's permanent. Whereas watercolor, you can. So there's some differences there, you know. I'm just going to get a drink of water. Hmm. Yes, and, and absolutely, you need to watch the bad reviews too. Because I don't want just the sugar-coated reviews. I want the real, <laughs> you know how people have trouble with the product too. The next one is Teal Green 1300. Because it makes me wonder sometimes when people put out reviews and it's only good things, you know, and some products can be like that. They can be absolutely great products, nothing wrong with them, but I want to know, you know, the bad things too. And when some people put out reviews and they've said, oh, you know, I've been sent this and whatever, I just wonder, you know, is it sort of sugar-coated because the product was sent to you? Um, even though some people still say, you know, this is 100% my honest opinion. The next one is Iron Green 1310. Oh, that's a, that's a different color. I kind of like that. It's like a muted bluish green. These colors are very close. Very close. This one's got a little bit more, I don't know, maybe green, like a little bit more muddy of a green. You love the watercolor set you have and you, what I am getting from Artful, yes, I already signed up for that box. Okay, some people get paid to say good things about the products. Yes, and that's that's one thing, like if it's a paid review. Um, that's why I like when people say, you know, I've received the product, but this is 100% my honest opinion. Um, I'll tend to watch those videos more. So the Artful Box, is that the one that's only every so months that you get? And the next color we have is Ionian Green 1320. I don't think I've ever tried the, um, the Artful Box. Oh, that is a pretty, pretty like dark forest green. Oh, I like that one. Oh, those colors would be good for shadowing, yes. Absolutely. Yes, quarterly from the UK, okay. 
I tried the um, scroller box a couple of times from the UK, but being from Canada, we get everything so much later. And the scroller box, I think I ended up getting it like well over a month behind everybody else. And I was like, okay. And then plus the shipping was quite a bit to get to Canada too. So I kind of stopped that one. The next one is Vivid Green 1330. Where am I here? Down here. But I did enjoy that one. It, it did come with good products. I just felt, you know, with the shipping and that, it just wasn't worth it for me. Oh, that is, that is a super pretty green too. You blame your mom for your love of art and crafting. Is she an artist or a crafter as well? Ooh, this is really pretty and it almost like um, when it gets really light, it's almost like a mint, mint green kind of color. I like that. Oh, I'm just playing around with it now. Okay. Okay, that's why you stopped up crate. The next one is Apple Green 1400. It just took too long to get to you. Yeah, you're from the... US, right? Oh, that is that is definitely an apple green. My gosh, that's like vivid. That's pretty. So Upcrate is from the UK too, I think. I've never tried that one. But I did watch, I think it was Bonita Doodles. She used to get the Upcrate box quite a bit. And I think that's where I saw the scroller box was from her. Her and her daughter used to do them in a video. And I loved watching that. Even though I don't get all of the boxes sometimes, I still watch. I love watching other people unboxing them and doing the challenges. And even with the same ones that I get, because we all end up doing something a little bit different. The next one is Field Green 1510. Nope, sorry, Field Green 1500. I was like, that's not the right one. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're in New York. Wow. Ooh, that's a really pretty, like, like hooker's green color. Oh, I quite like that one too. Germany, actually the color cave does those boxes as well. She's another one that I watch a lot too. Oh yes. I've seen some of her videos too, and I love her accent. Just love her accent. <laughs> the next one is Beach Green 1510. Where am I? Oh. I think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think I missed up and did the 1510 before the 1500. These are really hard to see these numbers on here, but I will just wipe these out and fix it after. So this is actually the field green. 1500. Oh well, it happens. Okay, so the next one we have is Hooker's Green 1520. This one. Oh, 
That's a really nice color too. I love her, her uh, hooker's green and sap green, two of my favorite colors. I use those a lot in my paintings. Love the greens. Yes, me too. They have a really nice selection of really all of the colors because I find some uh, mediums that you get, you know, they'll have a lot of yellows, a lot of reds, and then just maybe a few blues and a few greens, but this seems to have a really nice selection of all of them. And the next color that we have is Felt Green 1530. Oh, that's, that's pretty too. One thing I find with a lot of watercolor sets that you'll get, um, some of the greens can be really, really vibrant and overpowering. And so you have to end up adding like colors into it to mute it down or to change it slightly. But I find other than this one here, um, the greens are actually pretty usable just on their own. What's my favorite medium to use? That's a great question. Can I say all of them? All of them? Is that an answer? Um, the next one we have, I'll, I'll get into it in a second, but the next one we have is Light Olive 1540. So I started with color pencil. And I started with that, and I started with Prismacolor, then I got Polychromos, then I got Luminance, then I got Lightfast, because of course I had to have them all. Um, and that still remains one of my favorite mediums. And the only reason I don't use it a lot on my channel is because it does take a long time um, to complete a piece. So if I wanna do it within a few videos, if I'm doing like one of my real-time tutorials, I try to pick a medium, like even watercolor pencils, because they're a little bit quicker. But I'd have to say colored pencils remain one of my favorite one, even though I don't use it as much as I'd like to. My second favorite, I would have to say, would probably be watercolor, because it's just so versatile and it's really fun to use. Spring Green next, which is 1550. But any anything I'd say honestly like any water type medium so whether it's ink tents watercolor pencils watercolor itself I think I just love any water type medium so I think I'd say color pencils first and then any water <laughs> type medium if that's if that's an answer And honestly, sometimes when I'm trying out a new product for the first time, like whether it's gouache or something like that, while I'm using it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my new favorite. So I think it changes from time to time, but those would always be like my go-to. And the next one is Fern 1560. Oh, that looks like a really pretty color on the stick. I like colored pencils. I got the Black Widow set and Prisma and Faber-Castell, but they hurt my hands after a while. Oh, are you like burnishing them? Do you use that method? Um, because that's one reason I didn't like them at first was because I was trying to burnish everything. And then I found Odorless Mineral Spirits and it was a game changer, just a game changer. And now it makes the process so much faster. And as someone with wrist pain, I can I can use them now and it doesn't bother me at all. So if you haven't used odorless mineral spirits, I would absolutely suggest that. And the one that I use is Gamsol, but I think the Mona Lisa one's just about the same as the Gamsol, so either one would be good. But I know a lot of artists that get into colored pencils, they end up trying to layer them by burnishing. And what I do is I'll put a layer down, blend it out with OMS, and then, yeah, so you use them straight up. So you're burnishing. Yeah, so I don't know. Do I have a colored pencil, just colored pencil tutorial using the OMS? I do. I have a cherry 
on my channel, which is real time. It's about an hour and we do a cherry and I use the odorless mineral spirit. So that would probably be a, a really good one for you to try out because it's only an hour of your time. So you don't have to commit, you know, three or four hours into a piece and it's really fun and easy to do. And that would sort of show you if you like it or not. Um, the next one is Leaf Green 1600. And I've also got the exact same uh, cherry tutorial but using watercolor pencils. I think I did them back to back or close to back to back because I wanted to show the difference um, between the colored pencils and the watercolor pencils. Yeah, so I would say definitely check that one out. Um, but I definitely want to do more colored pencil tutorials. It's just they do take a while if you want to get it like detailed enough, right? Maybe that'll be one that I'll do in a live stream or something like that. Because we could just take our time, chat, play with some colored pencils. I love alcohol markers. I love the Ohuhu the best. Okay, I think I have a small set of the Ohuhu. The next one I have here is Mustard 1700. This looks like a really, almost like yellowy ochre golden color. We'll see what it looks like on the paper. Okay, yeah, like a, like a dirty <laughs> yellow ochre. Um, yeah, I have a small set of the Ohuhu, but I have a big set of um, Copic alcohol markers that I have and love. And I just, I don't use them all that much. I have one tutorial using them on my channel and we're doing a blue, a blue fish with them. And I love them, but I don't use them a lot because they're expensive markers and a lot of people don't have them. Um, but before I got into colored pencil, I pretty much just did artwork using my Copics. And then I got my Prismacolors so that I could go over top of my Copic markers to do like some small detail areas. And then I fell in love with the colored pencils. And then that was sort of like a, you know, my journey getting into the colored pencils. The next one is Amber 710. Fall color. Oh yeah, that would be a pretty fall color. This is a pretty, like, almost like a burnt brown color. Oh, you painted ceramics on your stream using a lot of fall colors yesterday. Okay, how cool. Are they ceramics that you made like with clay or um, bought ceramics? The next one is Tan 720. Not sure if I would call that tan. It's almost like a, I don't know what color to describe that, almost like a khaki color. I guess it's tan-ish. Oh, you picked them up at the dollar store, okay. Yes, I've recently discovered that I like to paint on things as well. The next one is Oak 1730. And um, I might have a video coming out sometime, if it turns out good, <laughs> of me painting on stuff. So we'll see, but uh, it's kind of fun and kind of addicting, isn't it? Once you start painting on stuff and then you're like, 
that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> I do like this oak color. It's like a purpley brown, like it's got like a little purple undertone to it. It's really pretty. And the next one we have is Saddle Brown, 1740. Now I'm pretty sure in the States, your dollar store is quite different than ours because our dollar store is hardly anything for actually a dollar. It's more like three to five dollars. <laughs> you go in there. So how they still call it a dollar store, I don't know, but sometimes you can still find some good stuff in there. Just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, it's very like a very light brown color. You do more crafts on Saturday streams and art on Sunday. Okay, that's interesting. Yes, it is different all the stuff in the in the dollar store. Yeah. Yeah. The next one is Baked Earth 1800. Well, this is a really interesting color. It almost looks like a coppery color, like in the stick here. Or in the block, I guess they're called blocks, but I'm probably gonna call them sticks. <laughs> the, the shape of them are men. Oh, that's pretty. I hope the connection's not on my side. We have pretty great internet here, um, which is nice. It's a plus, so that's why I thought it would be okay doing some streaming. But let me know if it's my connection or if it's yours if you end up coming back, EB. Because if it's on my end, I'm not sure how to fix that if I want to do more streams. Okay, got it. So was it an issue with your internet or my internet? Because my when I'm looking at my little stream preview thing, it's still like going, or at least I'm still going. But the next one is Matter Brown 1920. Oh, that is a really pretty, really pretty color. Almost re reminds me a little bit of like a Caput Mortem Violet. Um, just not as much brown in it, maybe. Oh. And the next one we have is choc Dark Chocolate 1930, right here. Fixed it, I got off my Wi-Fi with my phone. Okay. Okay, so good. Hopefully my stream's still going then, because <laughs> it looks like it is. That's why I got worried for a second and I thought, oh no, is it me or is it you? Oh, this chocolate brown is, uh, or dark chocolate is really pretty too. So I think you only missed a couple of swatches. Not too bad, but you can see them here. I really like that matter uh, brown color too. That's really pretty. And the next one we have is Bark 2000. Sounds like a like a robot dog name, Bark 2000. 
Yeah, it's working much better now. Okay, perfect. Thank you for letting me know. Because I would have just thought it was mine. This almost looks like the same color. I kind of was like, am I swatching the same thing twice? But no. Okay, so the next one we have is Sepia Ink 210, 2010, I guess. And I do love a nice sepia, like a dark brown sepia, and this is exactly what I would want in a really dark brown sepia. That is really pretty. So you said you stream about one o'clock your time, two o'clock my time. Is that the same time on both Saturday and Sunday, Evie? The next one is Indian Ink 2020. Oh, I'm really liking some of these dark colors. They're really nice. It's really nice. That's almost like a, like a neutral tint type color, maybe with a little bit of sepia in it. Yes, those colors do look like, but once they dried up a bit, you can see a difference, yeah. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a difference. Yes, okay, so you stream both times at the same time. The next one is Chinese Ink 2030. And I'm trying to really look at these, these numbers before I swatch because these ones, if you notice, they dry up so quick. By the time I go to swatch the next one, this is dry, like that's drying so quick. So it's kind of confusing because I can't even look back and see which ones were already wet. Oh, I like that. It's almost like a very, um, very light lamp black type color. Or like a Payne's gray, but without the brown in it. Like this one has a little hint of brown in it and this one's just more of like a neutral neutrally gray color. Then we have charcoal gray 2100. So if I was to do another live stream next weekend, EB, what day would be better, do you think, if I did it on a Saturday or a Sunday, or does it matter to you? Not that you have to show up or anything, but I'm just trying to see what days, you know, would be better for people because obviously I'd like to do it on days where people can show up because it's no fun streaming by yourself, even though... I'm used to doing the tutorials now, so apparently I can talk to myself really well. <laughs> the next one here is Payne's Gray 2110. Friday will be after I get out of work. My work schedule is nuts. I work from 6 to 4 right now until school starts. Oh, 6 to 4. That's a long day. That's a really long day. I work eight to four. 
typically Monday to Friday, but I do work weekends here and there. We sort of rotate into our weekends. Ooh, I really like this Payne's Gray. This is a really nice, like, bluey Payne's Gray. Oh, that's really pretty. I think this will be a color that I use quite often, too. I like Sundays, lest people post videos. I like Sundays, less people post videos on Saturday more. Oh, okay, so they post less on Sunday, post hmm. more on Saturday. I don't Saturday. have an answer for that. What? Sorry, that was my Amazon device that just decided to chip in there. Um, okay, so you're saying I should stream on Sundays because people post on Saturday. Sorry, got a little confused. The next one is Neutral Gray 2120. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of people do post on Saturdays too, which is nice because I'm usually home to watch them. <laughs> yes, okay. So then, unless we get a lot of Saturdays down in the chat, then my plan will be to stream next Sunday around the same time. So I started, I think it would be 9 a.m. for you. It was 10 a.m. for me. So I'll probably do around the same, same time. I really like that neutral gray. So this, these ones, they're grayish, but this one's got something in it. I don't know if maybe it's a little bit of green in there or something, but it's not quite 100% gray, but that one, I like that. And then the next one we have is ink black. Oh, it's 2200 too. Oh, that's a really nice, like dark, dark black. Very nice. You work in transportation, about to take on more responsibility soon. My boss is leaving me. Oh no. Oh no. So does that mean you're going to be coming like the, the supervisor or supervising yourself. Oh no. And that works for you. Perfect. I would, I would really enjoy if you showed up next weekend. Don't feel like you have to, but uh, that would be, it's been really fun chatting with you. So transportation, like, uh, like buses or something like that. And this is the antique white 2300. And I'm gonna get it pretty concentrated there just for the, the top part. Because for a water soluble medium like this is pretty white. You can get some pretty solid whites over top of stuff. So your part supervisor, I'm sharing the responsibility with some people. And yes, school bus, we deal with six months to age five. Wow, I imagine that can probably get crazy on the bus with all those kids. Um, you are an early Head Start and Head Start program. Oh, that's really amazing. That's great. Congrats for you. That's, that's a really nice program. Um, I know we've had them around here before, the Head Start programs. So that's all the Intense blocks swatched out. So I will show the first half again here. So this is this half here and this was the second half. The colors are really, really pretty and I am using the Arches cold pressed paper here. So I'm going to try to find something to do for maybe next weekend. And I'm, I'm leaning towards the sea turtle idea um, because I really like that. But I also want to get out my pastels and work on a pastel project too. 
So maybe we'll do the ink tense blocks first and then we'll we'll get into maybe some pastels or something after that. Love seeing the kids go from infant to ready for kindergarten. Love the colors. Yes, I love I absolutely love the colors too. All right, well, do you have any last questions for me, EB? Because I think I'm going to wrap this up. I didn't really plan anything else for this video today, and I didn't think this swatching was going to go so long, but it's been so lovely just chatting with you. And I'm just going to get another sip of water. And I just have to mention here, the, the cup that I'm using, this is a Gryffindor cup, and my lovely husband ended up uh, getting this for me. He got the four set. So we've got the all four households in this and I just love it. It's a great cup because I don't risk spilling it on my artwork. <laughs> oh, hello, Happy K Artist. Thank you for join joining. Um, I'm just wrapping up the stream actually, but you can watch this playback. We went ahead and we swatched all of the Intense blocks here. So it comes in two sets. And this is the first half, this is the second half. Um, yes, it does change colors. So when you have cold uh, water or liquid in it, it's a darker color here, and then it transitions to this lighter, like yellowy orange color. Yeah, so he ended up getting those. I think he got them at either Hot Topic or GameStop. But so that's going to be it for this stream. Thank you guys so much for joining watching, chatting. So come back same time next weekend. I'm going to plan to do another stream and uh, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see. I think we'll do an artwork with these blocks unless I get a lot of suggestions to do maybe a pastel tutorial or something like that. Um, Happy K Artist says it's so cool. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad you were able to join for the last few minutes of this stream. And uh, yeah, so come back next weekend, next Sunday around the same time and we'll do something with these. Thank you guys so much for joining. Bye.